Welcome to Deucoscopy TV with me, Alex Isaac. Today, we will be taking a look at the MPC minutes which came out this morning. The minutes were from the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee meeting held on 9th and 10th of July 2014. Many experts were expecting a hawkish response to the minutes, and indeed, the pound advanced against the euro ahead of their release. Joining us to discuss the minutes in more detail is John Hawksworth, Chief UK Economist. John, what are your thoughts on the MPC minutes? I think overall they're much as expected. Um, we weren't really expecting any, anyone to vote for a rate rise immediately, but there clearly is a debate going on on the committee as to how to interpret the data, particularly around some of the puzzles of the labour market where employment is very strong but wages are surprisingly weak. Uh, so there's clearly a, quite a nuanced argument going on, but they haven't yet got to the point where anyone's prepared to kind of break ranks and vote for a rate rise. But uh, I think we may well see that uh, at some point over the next couple of months if, if the economy continues to grow relatively strongly. Sterling is stalling at the moment. Would an interest rate change have been beneficial? Well, it depends what you think is beneficial. I mean, sterling has cl clearly risen. I, I, I think short-term movements in the exchange rate are not of great consequence. They're mostly just noise, can largely be ignored. Um, I think the interesting question is what's the long-term trend, and certainly it's gone up significantly over the past year. Um, that's obviously beneficial from the point of view of importers because it's keeping prices down. It's probably helping some consumers uh, who have previously been squeezed by big increases in import prices in the early years. On the other hand, it's not so good for exporters. So I think uh, whether higher sterling is good or bad is a, a matter of judgment. It depends on who you are. Um, I can't see these minutes themselves having huge impact because they seem fairly neutral. Um, but um, I think we'll just have to wait and see how the data develops over the next few months. Is Mark Carney likely to offer any further insight into the minutes when he makes his speech at the Commonwealth Games in Scotland this afternoon? I mean, clearly he may offer some further details uh, of his thinking, but I think the real next key moment will be the August inflation report next month, where I think we will see the, a new forecast and we'll see some more detailed analysis of some of these puzzles in the data, particularly around the labour market behaviour, which is quite different from past economic cycles. And really, uh, at that point, we might uh, begin to see some sort of clearer camps emerging in terms of maybe one or two people beginning to argue more strongly that the time has come for what would be very slow and gradual rate rises, but, but to begin that process, whereas perhaps the majority will still say, no, we need to wait a few more months and get a bit more information. But I think that will be the next key day to look out for. What do you see for the UK's economy in the short term? In terms of the short term, six to 12 months, I would expect a continued fairly strong growth in the UK economy. I think we're expecting growth of about 3% this year. Um, we see that continuing into a fairly robust rate rest of this year. I think next year we might see a small slowdown, uh, largely on the consumer spending side, because consumers have been running down their savings rate to fund spending. That can't continue forever. Um, but on the other hand, we're seeing business investment picking up. So I think a slight moderation next year, but still pretty good growth of about 2.5% or so. Um, so I think we're seeing a return, gradual return towards more normal uh, economic conditions, uh, barring, of course, some major global shocks. Thank you for your time, John. Keep watching Dukoscopy TV for more news on the UK economy and the market as a whole. Until then, goodbye.